Ever wondered what a Rolls-Royce electric car would be like? Well, wonder no more because the Spectre is here. So let's jump right in and see how this electric Rolls performs on some of the worst roads in the world. First things first though, let's do a quick recap of the Spectre. It has a huge all-electric coupe, almost five and a half meters long. It's undeniably a big car, and from some angles, it looks quite heavy. Under the hood, or shall we say under the very long bonnet, Rolls has stuffed in two electric motors. There's a 255 horsepower one up front and a 483 horsepower one at the back. That gives you a total of 577 horsepower and a mind-blowing 900 pound-feet of torque. The car weighs nearly three tons, but thanks to all that instant electric shove, it can still do zero to 60 in less than 4.5 seconds. The battery pack is a whopping 102 kilowatt hours, which according to Rolls-Royce, should get you up to 329 miles on a single charge. And when it comes to charging, the Spectre can handle up to 195 kilowatts. Getting in and out is done through the massive rear hinged doors, which are admittedly a bit impractical. But hey, that's Rolls Royce for you. Once you're inside, there's no denying that the cabin is absolutely stunning. Everything feels beautifully made, from the metal surfaces to the leather and the wood on the dashboard. There's a decent amount of tech too, with a big touch screen and a digital instrument cluster, but it's all integrated very neatly, so it doesn't look out of place next to the analog clock. One really cool feature is the starlight headliner. It mimics the night sky and it looks incredible, especially for the folks in the back seats. They even have the option to put this starlight technology in the door linings, which makes the cabin feel even more special at night. Now, Rolls-Royce has equipped the Spectre with air suspension, four-wheel steering, and active anti-roll bars. The steering feels good and weighted, and the brakes are well modulated, which is important in an electric car. But the right pedal needs a very smooth touch, because it's more focused on comfort than rapid acceleration. There's also a B mode for more aggressive energy recuperation, which lets you drive with one pedal. The problem is that it can be a bit jerky when you lift off the throttle. And while the ride is amazing at highway speeds, you do feel a bit more on the road when you're going slower around town. Refinement is unreal though, as you'd expect from a Rolls Royce. There's almost no electric motor noise at all. There is a bit of wind noise at higher speeds, but that's to be expected with those big side mirrors and chunky A-pillars. Here's the thing though. The Spectre isn't built on a bespoke electric car platform, and that means some compromises had to be made. The bonnet is massive, which eats into cabin space, especially in the back. The trunk isn't huge either, at 380 liters, and 50 liters of that is taken up by underfloor storage for charging cables. So is the Rolls-Royce Spectre the perfect electric car? Well, no. But it is undoubtedly the most luxurious and elegant electric car on the market right now. It's a statement piece, a rolling work of art, and if you can afford the hefty price tag of around $450,000, there's nothing quite like it. So, what do you guys think? Does the Spectre redefine electric luxury? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more car content. We've got upcoming videos on everything from budget-friendly EVs to the latest hypercars. Until next time, stay safe and happy driving.